And I invited you here today to share with you what this PNG exam is all about. It's called the NPPE exam. Who is eligible to write this exam? Uh, the different ways to prepare for the exam. And I want to I want to give you some knowledge about the exam that your association chooses. You know, they, they can't really give you this advice, or let's just say they choose not to give you this advice. And so I want to arm you with this information so you can make a decision about the best way for you to prepare for this exam and your situation. Um, our solution, we provide a solution. It's not the best solution for everybody. And I want you to know we're not here just to push our products. But I want to arm you with this information so you can make the best decision for yourself. Let's talk a little bit about the exam specifics. This is an exam on professionalism. And it's good for everywhere but Ontario and Quebec. They have different exams and different associations. So this National Professional Practice Exam has a specific format. It's 110 questions. It's one point for each correct answer, and there's no punishment for wrong answers. It takes about two and a half hours, or you're allotted two and a half hours, and it's a multiple choice format. Each question will have four choices. You need a 65% to pass. Um, I believe you're all Alberta here in this call, but BC and Saskatchewan adds additional essay questions. So if you've graduated from a Canadian university, it's not too tough of an exam because you've had an ethics class already. So who is eligible to write this exam? You, first and foremost, you need to be registered with your association. I think for you, it's a PEGA for this one, uh, this call, and you need to be registered as a MIT, which is an engineer in training or a geoscientist in training. There's also international students that'll go under a different designation if you're applying for your PNG. But if you're Canadian educated, then it's that simple. Just go to your association, ensure you're registered. If you're not, it takes about five days for Canadian educated. Um, if you're internationally educa educated, start as soon as possible that registration process. It can take about a year. For most associations, the Alberta EPEGA runs this exam for most associations and it's offered four or five times a year. And so let's look at that. Here it is. The dates for the 2019 exam are pretty much all over. There's an exam coming up November 25 to 27. So take note, you have multiple dates. You can write it within these time periods. But you have to, this November 25 to 27 exam, I think you had to register by October 15th-ish, if I'm not mistaken. So that one's out of your ballpark right now. Uh, we're October 23rd right now. So down below here are your dates for the 2020 year. So you see them about four or five times a year. They're usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that you can write them. You need to register a little early, and that's about five to six weeks beforehand. Let's talk about the important stuff, how to pass this exam. So I want to share with you that what I alluded to before, the thing that the association chooses not to really tell you, and that in reality, most people pass this exam. When I say most, I mean like north of 98%. Uh, we go through... Um, five to 750 engineers a year and we have maybe one or two failures a year uh, that usually comes into play with english being a second language so if english isn't your first language this exam will be a little tougher and you'll struggle with it a little bit but uh, the vast majority of people pass this exam by far like over 98 percent so since the pass rates are so hard, high, you know, we got to take that into account. It's not about getting the pass or not. I know you're going to pass. It's about how much time do you want to spend preparing. So let's talk about the different ways to prepare. The PEGA and your associations recommend two textbooks that you buy and some suggested materials. So that's about a thousand pages of reading and the cost is about 250 bucks takes about 10 days to show up on your door. This is a good solution if you haven't had an engineering ethics course. 
And so I really want you to know you can be ready in five hours, but let's talk about all the products out there because this isn't just about us, this is about you and your preparation method. So this self-study method, I call that's I call it self-study, but that's the APEGA or your association. There's us, PPEHQ. That stands for Professional Practice Exam Headquarters. There's another competitor out there, another solution called Practice PPP, Practice PPE Exams.ca. There's another solution at Bow Valley College. And so we really set out forth so you don't need to buy those textbooks. If you look at all the other solutions, so that's how we really differentiate ourselves. We don't want to um, take up a lot of needless reading time and a needless money. And so we've been able to get people ready in five hours. Because these other solutions require buying and reading the textbooks, their overall prep time takes quite a bit longer. The self-study, you're looking at you're looking at a lot of evenings. Two weeks of evenings, um, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. And you're reading two textbooks that are really overlapping, and it's incredibly boring and dry material. <laughs> I really want you all to know that you can prepare for the exam in as little as five hours. You can do this in two easy evenings, or you can do this in one longer day. And so we designed a product. I'll show you it here. Step one is the MPPE study guide. That's we spent an hour doing the 62 pages of reading, so we summarized everything for you. We walk you then into three, four hours of practice exams. That's 110 sample questions. Um, there are essay questions for the BC and Saskatchewan people. We also do a half hour video call, very similar to this, where we walk through, pe we walk people through the interface for the exam. Um, and we talk about exam day strategies to do well in this exam. It's a longer exam, two and a half hours kind of take um, takes its toll on you concentration wise but it all we also share some of the feedback we've had from other students and here's that audio version and on this page you can hear a sample of it if you wish there's our pricing and we do it based on a schedule everything's digital and delivered to you instantly so that's all I really wanted to take you all through today, feel free to ask any questions.